Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Masala Chai and Chess with Nisha. Today is the birthday of a living legend, of a person I have the utmost respect for. I am a student, a family friend, a fan, all in one. I am talking about Grandmaster Pravin Thipse, who is the first Indian to win the Commonwealth Chess Championship. Pravinji, as he is fondly called by all of us, is the third Grandmaster of India after Vishwanathan Anand and Dibyendu Barua. He is seven times national champion and has represented India in the Chess Olympiad seven times. Last August, the Postal Department of India honoured him by taking out a stamp with his photo next to Taj Mahal. Let's enjoy a beautiful game of our living legend with a cup of masala chai. This was the year 1985. Some months back in the same year, Pravinci not only won the Commonwealth Chess Championship and became the first Indian ever to do so, he also became the first Indian to earn the Grandmaster norm. Today, there are many strong players. But when you speak to someone like Pravinji, you realize what is class, what is chess understanding. So white is Pravin Thipse, black is Evel Nicholas. This is the British Championship in Edinburgh. E4, C5, Knight F3, E6, D4, C into D4, Knight into D4, Knight F6, Knight C3, d6 bishop e3 knight c6 bishop c4 we see the sozin attack in the sicilian bishop e7 castles castles bishop b3 knight a5 f4 e5 attacking the knight knight goes to f5 bishop into f5 e into f5 e into f4 Bishop into f4, knight into b3, a into b3, d5. Bishop e5, rook e8, king h1, a6. So white has a very slight pull in this position. We see that black has an IQP here. Rook a4. Now, I personally like this move, like, you know, shifting the rook from the queen side to the king side with this fourth rank rook lift is something which appeals to me a lot. So, rook c8, bishop into f6, bishop into f6, knight d5. So, here black can take the pawn on b2. So, black can actually play bishop b2 here, which was not played. But I guess black was a little worried about f6. So black decided in this position to first play rook c5 and to question the white knight. White took knight into f6, queen into f6 and now you see that black is attacking f5 pawn and b2 pawn. So one of them will fall. White played rook a f4. You know, this rook shift from a1 to f4 is nice. Queen into b2. f6. g6. Now we often get into positions which are completely equal. What to do then? Set a trap for your opponent and especially the one in which he is likely to fall into. Pravinji in the next move set up a fantastic trap. So he played queen d2. So what's happening? Black is able to capture the pawn on c2 and he just plays queen d2 allowing the capture. So here opponent could have played rook c6. He didn't play this. I'll come to what he played later. So he could have played rook c6 with the idea that suppose white goes 
rook 4 f3 with the idea of queen h6 black can simply play queen e5 and the point is that queen h6 is a blunder here because of rook into f6 rook into f6 queen into f6 rook into f6 rook e1 and there's this back rank problem for white white is getting mated after rook f1 rook into f1 so black could have played rook c6 and this position is roughly equal but black decided to grab the pawn with rook c2 now this is my masala chai moment i'm going to sip my masala chai while you find the next move of pravinji Well done if you found the move rook e4 what a lovely idea neither the queen nor the rook of white can be captured so for example if black takes rook d2 there is rook e8 mate and instead if rook into e4 the same back rank problem arises queen d8 rook e8 queen e8 is a mate so after rook e4 one important thing to understand is that rook f8 is not possible because queen h6 leads to a mate on g7 so for example white has no back rank issues so after queen into f6 rook into f6 the critical c1 square is controlled by white so in the game after rook e4 black played rook e c8 now this is another masala chai moment for me i'm going to finish off my cup while you find the next move of white Did you fall into my trap? Did you find the move queen h6 by mistake? This would be a big blunder. Queen h6 does not work because of queen into f6, rook into f6, and we see that white has a back rank problem now after rook c1. It leads to mate. So the right move in the position after rook c8 is rook c4 and congratulations to you if you found this brilliant idea and again black has problems with the back rank so we see that black cannot take the rook on c4 because for example if rook 2 c4 queen b2 is going if rook 8 c4 queen d8 is a mate of course uh, the queen cannot be captured here because rook into c8 leads to mate so after rook c4 it's just over for black let's try to understand one more idea that what is white's idea if black does nothing so if h5 here rook into c8 rook into c8 and queen b2 the queen falls so after rook c4 white is just winning black played queen into f6 and designed after rook into c8 completely in position for white and what a fantastic game I hope you all liked how beautifully Pravinji exploited the back rank weakness of opponent. Let's wish Pravinji a very happy birthday, a long happy life with good health and lots of success. If you like this video, do put a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. See you soon. Bye bye.